Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and we are here with a jellyfish painting. I've done a jellyfish painting on this channel before and it kind of came out similar, I think. I don't know yet because I haven't actually finished the painting, but I'm guessing because it's kind of heading the same colour route. Um, but I haven't put the jellyfish on there yet. So um, I will link the other jellyfish paint in, in the cards and in the description uh, for you to go and check out. But the reason I'm doing jellyfish is because when I paint jellyfish, I feel so relaxed and happy. Um, so I decided to do another one. But this one was giving me a little bit of a trouble, I guess. Um, I didn't really want to do it. I was putting it off for a while and I just ended up having to do it today, which is Friday, because I needed to get a video out, which is not the best solution and plan. Um, what I should have done was just thought about some other animal or something else that I wanted to paint and then painted that animal instead, rather than trying to push this jelly pa jellyfish painted out. Um, but I think that I'm going to be happy with the results regardless, because... <clears throat> I did it, I pushed myself to do it and I did it and uh, I love jellyfish and I love the kind of style that I'm going for. I'm not going for the usual style that I have which is more realistic, I'm kind of trying to do a little bit more of a simple style, like a, I don't know how to describe it but just a, sim a simple style really and um, I had fun splashing the paint around, not worrying about like what the outcome was going to be because I knew that um, it would come out not the way that I wanted so I just accepted that so that I could have fun painting rather than worrying about the actual outcome so I was I was just worrying about the process basically and the process was fun I, I enjoyed it um and I kind of feel bad because this is not the best video and um I'm just doing it just to get a video out on a Friday which I really shouldn't do but if I don't then it can really hurt your channel like YouTube hates you if you don't post um if you post every friday you gotta post every friday and i post every friday wednesday and uh monday but i have a lot of plans for the future videos i just didn't really have a good plan for this one because i was too worried about what was going on in the house and what was going on in the world because i was having a snowstorm and that's not an excuse but i just wasn't really focused on the videos and then it creeped up on me and i was like oh i'll do the jelly jellyfish painting today i should have done another video that was a little bit easier to do and didn't have as much creativity involved because i only had two days to do the painting whereas i would like to give myself three or four days to do the painting instead so i'm really sorry that this video might seem a little bit weird and it might seem a little bit half arsed because technically it is but i just wanted to get a video out but I, i'm really happy to share this as well because i just want you guys to know that sometimes you will feel like you really want to do something and really want to paint something, really want to create something and you have an idea in your head and you go for it and it doesn't come out the way that you want it to, um, which I can't really say for myself because I haven't finished the painting yet, but you won't feel like you want to do it even though you know that you want to do jellyfish because I do... I do want to do jellyfish but I haven't done enough, enough research on what kind of jellyfish I want to paint and um, what kind of style I want to do it in and also how many jellyfish I want to put on the... You know, I just haven't done enough reference finding. Also, the background is not realistic whatsoever. It is um, kind of more of a stylized background. There's no like sea elements in there. There's no ocean uh, there's no ocean colours. I just wanted to make it a little bit more vibrant and I also wanted to play with the paint on 100% cotton paper because I've never done that before. This cotton paper seems to buckle a lot um, so I'm gonna try and get more expensive watercolour paper because uh, this is just the De La Rooney 100% um, cotton Langenton I think it's called watercolour paper. It's cold press which I never usually use. I usually use hot press but um, I need to figure out how to, like, I painted on expensive paper once and I was blown away by the amount of detail you could get, the amount of washes you could get, the amount of layers, um, the amount of lifting you could do, just everything was just better and um, a lot of people say, oh, buy the least expensive supplies possible, um, just so that you know if you like it or not. <coughs> I would say that for paint, buy the least expensive paint you can afford or the most expensive paint you can afford, whatever. Um, so if that's like 
Windsor Newton Cotman or uh, I don't know Van Dyke what is it Van Gogh or something like that just buy that but always spend more money on the paint uh, on the paper and the brushes the brushes are important because I started this painting with a brush that I didn't know how it was going to handle and I know that they're kind of cheap brushes um, so I started to paint with that and the bristles were falling out. You don't want the bristles to fall out onto your paint and it's the biggest pain in the butt ever and it also, if you're trying to get it off and it doesn't come off and you're like scraping at the page to try and get this hair off of the page paper, it will damage it and it won't come out the way that you want it to. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to try watercolours. I really want to get into watercolours this year. I want to try and do as much watercolouring as possible and I want to do as much um, animals as possible as well. I've, I, If you guys have watched me for a while, you'll know that I did the 365 animal thing and I want to continue that series but obviously paint them instead of just sketch them. Um, because I love drawing animals and I love painting animals and there's such a variety of animals that you can draw and, and you can draw them in any style. Like you can cartoonise them, you can do them in realistic style. The fur as well is really interesting to me. I'm just really excited to do animal paintings. So that's what you're going to see from me for a while. I do have another couple of videos planned that don't have anything to do with animals. Um... And I'll tell you some now, I'll spoil it for you. I, I do have birthday art to do, so next week um, I'm going to do some birthday art. And then the week after that is going to be the left hand challenge or the non-dominant, dominant, dominant? I can't say that word, hand challenge. And then um, I'm also going to do this thing called hashtag 50 things. If you look it up on Instagram or Facebook or uh, Twitter, you will see what that's all about. It's... Um, Basically, you just have to draw a scene that has 50 things in it and make it look good. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do that. Um, I'm going to do it in a spring fashion this month. Uh, maybe next month I will do um, something. Uh, not next month, but I'll do it like kind of seasons. So I'm going to do a spring one. I'm going to do a summer one. I'm probably going to do an autumn one and a winter one as well. Um if I can, because I have never drawn a scene before. Uh, well, I have, but the scenes that I've drawn are very, like, basic. So, yeah, I think that we're going to have fun with that. I don't know if I'll be able to do, do it for this month. If I can't do it for this month, I will just change it to April because April is still kind of spring anyway. So, uh, yeah, and May is technically spring as well. So we've got a couple of months of spring. Um so maybe I should do it at the end of the month rather than the start of the month because I just don't have time because that painting is probably going to take a while to do. Um, I do have a bunch of videos planned for April uh, and a couple of videos planned for May but not too many. So I'm planning a lot more now which helps in the way of painting and stuff. And also I'm going to be doing paintings that are not necessarily for the videos, but I might throw up um, the videos of those paintings um, around about just random times. Maybe if I don't have a video for Wednesday, I'll throw it up then. If I don't have a video for Monday, I'll throw it up then. Um, but I always want to keep my upload days Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I never want to add any extra days now. I never want to take any days away. Those are my upload days and that's how it's going to stay for the rest of my life. <laughs> Hopefully. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble a little bit about things. And I have no idea what I'm going to call this video. Hopefully something catchy and something interesting rather than just rambling while painting jellyfish. Or maybe that will be the... Um title. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Please remember to comment. Uh, tell me if you like jellyfish, if you um, have something that you like to paint the most, like do you like to paint animals the most, people the most, objects, scenes, what do you like to paint the most? <clears throat> and also tell me what you're working on right now. I love to talk to you guys. I love to hear what you, you guys are doing. And uh, yeah, that's it. So remember and hit the notification bell and uh, also subscribe and give the, the video a thumbs up if I could speak properly. 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!